People tell me I have a very vintage sounding voice. As I listen to a lot of Billie Holiday and Patti Page and Peggy Lee. And I've always been obsessed with David Bowie. I've got a David Bowie tattoo. I got the Aladdin Sane lightning bolt. And then I have Pink Floyd, Shine On Your Crazy Diamond. Probably at yeah, um, Radiohead and Nirvana. And those are probably the ones that inspire me the most. And, and the Beatles, of course. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet was just a few days ago. I got back from North Carolina from doing it two days ago, and it was amazing. The first production I ever saw was in 95, when I was about seven. That was the first time. And then I, I used to keep it on my bedside table every night and read it as much as possible. So I was pretty much off book the first rehearsal. Yeah. I was ready to do it. <laughs> My mother used to read me Edgar Allan Poe when I was little um, to help me go to sleep, actually, and Ray Bradbury. And she read me The Stand, you know, to go to Stephen King. And so I didn't, maybe that explains things. Tattoo on my back is an Edgar Allan Poe poem called A Dream Within a Dream. But it just says, All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. I've had my fair share of exposure to it, and uh, I like it. I've always thought vampires were just incredibly romantic and sexy and dangerous and scary, and that's that pretty much sums up me. <laughs> and I'm so excited. I'm getting fitted for my fangs in a few days, and so far I'm just doing two episodes, um, playing Sophie and the Vampire Queen of Louisiana. I got up to the screen test for Interview the Vampire when I was five. It was me and Tom Cruise and Kirsten Dunst, and I didn't get it, and I bawled, and I've been wanting to be a vampire ever since. <laughs> so I've been waiting a long time for these things. <laughs> oh, gorgeous right there. Who knows what's next? <laughs>